Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Inter in FM20. And today's episode could be the last episode of this season. And uh, we are actually in a special situation because if you look upstairs here, it says eight days to next game. Well, that's not how we usually do it. We usually start an episode when we are about to play a game. And there's a very special reason to that. I'm going to come to it very soon. But first off, since we played Napoli, we managed to get a big win away versus Cremonese. And today for today's episode, we have Salernitana. And um, yeah, what, what, what's up with these teams? They usually pick the really big teams. And we also have match day. Well, to find the reason, we need to go to the league table. And you can tell we are playing against the team that's at the bottom of the table. But the reason that we are starting now, eight days before this game, is this. We want to see the result from the Napoli Juve game. And we also want to see the result, let's see, between the Juve and the Cremonese game. Because these two games will probably, or not probably, they will decide if we have any chance of winning the league. Because uh, as you know, right now, as you can see, we have the same amount of points as Juve. You have one less game played, but we're also in a situation where because of the results when we play them individually, even though if the, it, this sends up a draw and we have the better goal difference, you will win. So we need you to at least lose one game and get one draw. And that's if, if we win our last two games. If you get enough points, then it's game set match. So since we gonna have quite a few days to go through, let's start this one ASAP. So let's see if we can get the Napoli Juve result here and uh, <laughs> what result is it okay they still haven't played they still haven't played come on come on come on go oh this is brilliant this is fantastic Napoli won Napoli won that, that's the first step like even though Napoli won Juve if they win the last two games they win the league and if you look at their schedule as you can tell they are playing um, Cremonese and Salentari they also have the Champions League final but they are playing versus Salentana in the bottom and Cronese in the bottom. So they will most likely win those two games. We still need a miracle. But now at least we can start believe. We can start dreaming. And of course, if you don't want to see me, I'm going to try to do this really, really quick. Uh, but you could skip uh, ahead a, a slight bit here. I'm going to kind of ignore everything that happens. Yes, go through trying to get... Actually, you know, you know what we could do to make this even faster. Ah, let, let's roll this. I was considering going <laughs> on a holiday for a few days. Well, we're, just, we're just going to do this the manual way. But if you want to, you can like jump uh, 30, 40, 50 seconds into to the future and <laughs> you will see what happens. Well, we need we need to find that second Juve game because they are playing the day before we play our game. And we need to pray to every single football manager on G-God that's out there. We probably need to sacrifice one or two regions to them too, so we can really please them. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to sacrifice a few regions to, to the FM RNG gods because we need all the help we can get. Because we need, I mean, even though Napoli gave us a great help there, we still need them to lose points against teams in the bottom of the table. And we're talking about Juve, we're talking about the team that are playing a Champions League final at the end of this season. So, uh, it can't really like we 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 need not not a small miracle we need we need a huge miracle we need the biggest of miracles come on come on we need to get one more day then we're going to have the next Juve game and then it's our turn and if we don't win then it's game over and we need Juve to lose points in one of their last two games oh my god I'm so nervous we I have a title to defend I didn't expect this oh and of course then we have the auto save. But yeah, I didn't expect us to win the league the first season. I really didn't. And now we are kind of back to, to uh, more realistic things when we are fighting for the title. But it's much, much tougher compared to, to last season. Come on, the autosave. Be gone. Fantastic. Some more news. I, I don't even read what they say, so I might miss something <laughs> important here. But let's get to, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. So they are playing at home. Versus Cremonese, that's in 14th place. Yeah, we need a huge miracle for you with those points here. So so let's see, can, can, can we get through the results? They haven't played yet. Are they playing right now? Maybe, perhaps. 
Oh, this one is so slow. But day one. Day one. Which means we, yeah. Uh, we probably, like, if you look at the league table right now, if we win, we're going to be at the same amount of points. Nothing has changed. Then this is going to be the last run. And, uh,. We are playing ahead. Where when are they playing? Wait. Oh yeah, we are one game behind them. Never mind. So if we win today, we're going to have one last episode this season, and then we're going to need a huge miracle, huge, huge, huge miracle. But first, it's game time, and um, yeah, this is taking uh, quite a bit longer than it normally takes for me to start an episode, but felt it was worth it. I wanted you guys to be with me. I wanted you to see. Uh, what happened, what, like, everything. So it would be weird if we just pop up here and you have lost one game, won one game, want to see everything. So it's Martinez. Yes, Martinez is back from his injury. We're going to bring him onto the bench. Esposito actually scored two goals in the last game, but he will start on the bench. We're going to start with, let's let's see, we, we could go with like that. We're going to start with the, both the big, big, strong lads up on top. This is where we're going to start. Then let's take a look quick on the midfield. I feel stressed because I want to start this game so very quickly for you guys because you have been waiting for a long time during this episode. Nainggolan was actually a sensational in the last game, scored two goals. So maybe we want to, see, to keep him on or maybe we want to rotate him. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think we're going to roll like this. Nainggolan gets to start on the bench. But yeah, two goals last game was fantastic. And then we have the defenders, then we are ready to go. So some quick, quick changes here, keeping every, everybody fresh, keeping everybody rotated like that. Okay, game time. My gosh, that was a lot of talking and a quickie. We need three points now. Uh, we should be winning this game. It's against a team that's much weaker than us on paper. Uh, we, 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 really, we really should be, be winning, but you know, this is football manager. Everything can happen. I mean, if you've been playing this game, and, and you should have been playing this game if you're watching this video, at least uh, some version of it, then you have been FM'd. A game you completely dominated and something bad happens. But we have Asensio with a free kick. That could have been a good start, but uh, this wasn't good enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get creative. You see Asensio with another free kick. This one goes... Nowhere, but he gets another try, perhaps. Long far for Bronsovic. And uh, can we win it? Can we? Can we? Yeah, it's not over. Screener picks it up. Bronsovic. Asamoa. 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 Bronsovic. Back to Asamoa. Bronsovic. One touch. And here is Lazaro. <laughs> What a goal from uh, the left defender, Valentino Lazaro's third goal of the season, and uh, at least we are on track here. So we have uh, Bronswich with a with um, cross, we have uh, Lukaku with the header, and then Lazaro with the finisher. So we are where we want to be, at least now fr from the start, but I'm still very much uh, nervous. I mean, we're dominating things according to statistics, we have the lead. But this, I feel like this is the moment of truth. And even if we win it today, it may not count. It may not count. We, I want some passion. I want more. I want more. I always want more. But today, like, you need to really, really show that you are fighting for the title. We need a miracle. But we have very few highlights. We have Asamoa with the throw in for Lukaku. Here is Bronsovic. Sensei. And oh, 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 Lazaro, what a game he's having. Look at that volley. What a beautiful goal. My gosh, take a look at Lazaro's volley. Fantastic. A piece of art, I would call that one. Brilliant. Yeah, Lazaro, at least, at least one guy really wants this. He is fighting for the title. Two minutes of extra time, we have a sense in the corner, and Skrinner hits the crossbar. Lukaku picks it up, but I guess it's, ooh, this could actually be a dangerous counter-attack. Ooh, fantastic tackle there. So, half-time whistle. We want to tell them to, to stay focused. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurrying now. I'm, I'm speeding up. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm probably talking a little bit too fast. 
And I'm pressing that uh, space bar to go on a little bit too fast. But here is Lukaku and that finisher is complete and utterly garbage. We have Sensei with a free kick. And, uh, oh, there's a lot, actually a lot of Santana players on the run, but we haven't been at this Asensio. I mean, that was a crappy finisher, but at least we won it back. Because if that counter-attack would have happened, they would have had like 10 players against one or something. Because there was a lot of their players on the run. But here is Skrinar, Barea, goes for a long cross for Haaland. Haaland on the right side, and that was actually a good save by the Salaniti Nana something goalkeeper. I'm butchering that name, especially when I'm speaking <laughs> this fast, because I'm a bit too excited. Yes, that's you with the corner, and it's just over by screener. I mean, we are creating a lot of chances. We uh, definitely could have scored more goals than we have. Maybe this will be it. Asensio with a free kick into the box. Haaland wins it. Asensio. And ooh, that could have been a masterpiece. I believe it hit the... Uh, Woodwork, I'm not quite sure, it was too quick. Bronswich for the corner, Skrinar just over again. Yeah, how many chances have we had? We, we really need to uh, improve the quality of our finishing. We have a Bronswich with a corner, and uh, he, nope, no, nope, nothing, nothing. Are we going to see a counter attack? We are going to see a counter attack. Come on, lads, come on, lads. That is such a crappy defending. Luckily for us though, we have Handanovic, and Handanovic have been goal this season. With 34 shots, we only managed to score on two of them. We clearly have room for some improvements. Haaland, you're out. We're going to bring in Martinez, the comeback kid. This is his first game, been out for, I think, about a month with his uh, injury. And we're actually going to re remove Lukaku too, and bring in the kid Esposito, and you get to be a complete... Um, Forward. So both men, uh, both, both guys on top have been replaced, and maybe we can get some some quality finishing now, or maybe not because nothing is happening right now, right here. I think what we're going to do, we're going to bring in Riccardi. He needs some more, he needs some more first team experience. Thirty seven shots and only two goals. I think it's time for some passion. We need some passion. 40 shots. That must be some sort of record in this series. And uh, still only two goals. And still we see a highlight where they do a counter attack. But no, maybe not. Is it Riccardi? The newly subbed. Roma signing. Barea. Barea. Is Lazaro going for the hat trick? No, it's Martinez back to Lazaro. It could be the hat trick. And here, just over again. I mean, man, it's the same amount of chances we have created. But you know, guys, you know what this means? This means that we will have one last episode of this season. And we need a miracle. We need Juve to lose again points against, I think it was the team we, we just beat. The team at the bottom of the table. And we need them, no, not the squad, the, the schedule. Yeah, we, we need them to beat Juve. And that's, yeah, but that will happen in the next episode, so we, the next episode we know if we're going to defend our title or if we're going to end as runners-up. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.